The Leviton Load Center is an innovative, award-winning residential power distribution system that reimagines the installation experience and how homeowners interact with their electrical system. This video will demonstrate the simple steps to install the LWIM2 Leviton Whole Home Energy Monitor, new second-generation smart circuit breakers with remote control, and connect with the My Leviton app. Leviton's Whole Home Energy Monitor is the smart solution for energy management. It provides real-time energy consumption data and controls Leviton first and second gen smart circuit breakers. With inputs for up to three pairs of LSMMA current transformers to measure the grid in alternative energy sources, the Whole Home Energy Monitor provides an aggregate view of energy consumption and generation. Paired with Leviton's second generation smart circuit breakers, the Leviton Load Center provides unparalleled control of a home's electrical system, including the ability to turn circuit breakers on and off remotely, via a schedule, or shed non-essential loads when using an automatic transfer switch. In addition to control, smart circuit breakers offer the latest technology to protect against overcurrent, arc faults, and ground faults, notifying users when and why a circuit breaker tripped, Leviton Arc Fault, Ground Fault, and Dual Function Circuit Breakers feature a patented reset lockout and will not reset if arc or ground fault protection is compromised. Leviton Smart Circuit Breakers also provide anomaly detection, notifying the homeowner if any unusual activity is discovered for the configured type of circuit. Before starting the installation process, please refer to the included Getting Started Guide and Review all wiring instructions, cautions, and diagrams. Self-help support resources are available in the My Leviton app, the leviton.com slash support website, or load center support at leviton.com. The whole home energy monitor should only be installed by a licensed electrician inside a Leviton load center. You will need the following to ensure a smooth installation process. A 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network with high-speed internet an iOS 12.0 or later, or Android 8.0 or later mobile device with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, and the My Leviton app downloaded. A Leviton load center installed in a location with access to Wi-Fi. We recommend testing the Wi-Fi signal at your load center with a smartphone to verify the signal is acceptable. For some outdoor or basement installations, you may need a Wi-Fi extender or mesh system for optimal performance. A dedicated two-pole circuit breaker is required to power the whole home energy monitor. Note, the LWIM should not be powered by a smart circuit breaker or surge protective device. You'll need the following tools to install the whole home energy monitor and second-gen smart circuit breakers. A torque screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, a hammer, and a multimeter. To avoid fire, shock or death, turn off power supplying this equipment and confirm power is off before installing, removing, or servicing the equipment. To ensure the safest installation, turn the power off as close to the utility meter as possible. The following methods are recommended. Turn off the outdoor disconnect. Turn off the main breaker and the meter main feeding the load center. If installing in a main lug subpanel, turn off the two pole breaker feeding the subpanel. Warning. If you only have means to disconnect the power at the main breaker in the load center where you are installing the whole home energy monitor, note that the service mains wires feeding the main breaker will still be live when the main breaker is in the off position. If you are replacing a previously installed first gen smart hub, power down the device and remove it from the load center. To start the installation process, Select an available half-inch knockout to install your whole home energy monitor's Wi-Fi antenna. If installing in an indoor, surface-mounted load center, any available half-inch knockout may be used. If installing a flush-mounted load center, the Wi-Fi antenna will need to be installed in an available half-inch knockout at the bottom of the enclosure with the provided rubber grommet. If installing in an outdoor load center, the Wi-Fi antenna must be installed in a knockout at the bottom of the enclosure and secured with the provided lock nut. If there are no available half-inch knockouts, drill a 7 8 inch hole in an appropriate location. To remove the knockout, strike the center of the knockout with a screwdriver and hammer until the weld point is disconnected. Using a set of pliers, bend the knockout until it disconnects from the enclosure. 
remove the lock nut from the Wi-Fi antenna. For indoor or flush-mounted load centers where the knockout opening is inside a wall and can't be accessed from both sides, the Wi-Fi antenna may be secured in the knockout with the supplied rubber grommet. Install the rubber grommet into the open knockout, then remove the gasket from the Wi-Fi antenna and insert the small end of the antenna into the grommet. If the Wi-Fi antenna is difficult to press fit into the grommet, apply a small amount of dish soap to the grommet for lubrication. For surface-mounted load centers where both sides of the knockout can be accessed, the Wi-Fi antenna should be secured in place with the lock nut. Insert the small end of the antenna through the open knockout hole, making sure the gasket is between the antenna and the inside panel wall. Then screw and tighten the lock nut onto the Wi-Fi antenna. Select an available location in your load center to install a dedicated two-pole circuit breaker to power your whole home energy monitor. Connect the red power wire from the energy monitor to the load terminal on the phase B side. And connect the white wire from the energy monitor to the neutral terminal. Connect the black power wire from the energy monitor to the load terminal on the phase A side. The neutral terminal is marked with an N on Leviton two-pole circuit breakers. If you are unsure of the phase locations on the two-pole circuit breaker, consult the phase map in your Getting Started Guide or check with a multimeter. Torque the line terminals to 25 inch-pounds. To monitor the home's total energy consumption, install the provided current transformers onto the service wires. Clamp the CT with the black and blue wires to the Phase A service wire with the Leviton logo sticker and embossed arrow K and L facing the main breaker or lugs. This CT must be on the same phase as the black power wire from the whole home energy monitor. Clamp the CT with the red and blue wires to the Phase B service wire and the Leviton logo sticker and embossed arrow K and L facing the main breaker or lugs. This CT must be on the same phase as the red power wire from the whole home energy monitor. If you are unsure of the phase locations, consult the phase map in your Getting Started Guide. The braided wires from the CT should be fed down the side of the load center and connected to the CT port marked 1 on the bottom of the whole home energy monitor. Additional LSMMACTs may be added to monitor alternate energy sources or dedicated circuit breakers. To monitor alternate energy sources, such as solar, battery storage, or generator, locate the two-pole circuit breaker or supply-side tap where power is fed and install the CTs with the Leviton logo sticker facing the circuit breaker. To monitor a standard two-pole circuit breaker that isn't backfed, Install the CTs with the Leviton logo sticker facing away from the circuit breaker. For both applications, the CT with the black and blue braided wires should connect to the Phase A wire and the CT with the red and blue braided wires should connect to the Phase B wire. If you are unsure of the phase locations of the two-pole circuit breaker, consult the phase map in your Getting Started Guide or confirm with a multimeter. Connect any additional CTs to the ports marked 2 and 3 on the bottom of the whole home energy monitor. Note, the app will ask you to input the source names or any CTs to ensure user clarity. To integrate with an automatic transfer switch, access the blue contact input wire located on the bottom of the whole home energy monitor behind a sticker. The loop is designed to be cut and connected to a dry contact. Do not apply voltage. In most installations, an isolation relay will be required. The input loop is normally closed, and when opened, will trigger an automated response to control second-generation smart circuit breakers. Automated responses and essential versus non-essential designations for a second-generation smart circuit will be configured during enrollment in the MyLeviton app. Select a location on the panel back wall to mount the whole home energy monitor. Make sure that the Leviton logo is upright and the placement allows ample access to all wiring and connections on the whole home energy monitor. Remove the backing of the double-sided tape and adhere the whole home energy monitor to the panel back wall.
Adding second-generation smart circuit breakers to your Leviton load center is as easy as pulling the old circuit breaker out and snapping the new one in its place. Or if a new panel, simply snapping in your new breakers. Smart circuit breakers should not be installed on circuits connected to a portable generator or the Wi-Fi router. To ensure accurate consumption readings, confirm that the neutral wire is connected to the neutral terminal on the load side lugs, not at the panel's accessory neutral bar. Once the physical installation has been completed, return power to the load center and turn the two-pole breaker supplying power to the whole home energy monitor to the on position. The green LED behind the Leviton logo on the energy monitor blinks rapidly to indicate it is ready to be added to a Wi-Fi network. Open the My Leviton app and click the plus icon in your residence to add a device. Select Load Center from the available options and Load Center Second Generation LWEM and follow the prompts in the app to enroll your whole home energy monitor. Note, there are different enrollment flows depending on if you are replacing a previously installed first generation Smart Hub, L Data, or setting up a Smart Leviton Load Center for the first time. Please follow the appropriate in app prompts to set up the LWEM. Name your smart breakers, assign essential circuits, customize notifications, and more. To view the complete Load Center family, please visit leviton.com slash load center. For additional support, please contact Leviton's Smart Home Support Team.